It was dubbed the return of Rolo. Having spent four years as an offensive coordinator at Nevada, Nick Rolovich was back in Reno for the first time as Hawaii head coach. A lot of familiar faces on the other side, including another former Rainbow Warrior quarterback, receivers coach for the Wolfpack, Timmy Chang. It started off positively enough for Hawaii. Drew Brown's 10-yard touchdown pass to John Ursua broke the ice with 4.52 left in the first quarter. You know, we, we had a play called that we thought really was going to work for that situation. They actually came out with something a little different. He was running like a shallow, you know, five-yard out, and he kind of just kept climbing and found a little uh, pocket there in the corner of the end zone and thought it was a good idea, put it in the back, and, you know, he made a great play. But the Wolfpack's response would be immediate. Ensuing possession, Kelton Moore took a handoff up the middle, 66 yards to the UH-14. Quarterback Ty Ganji then hit McLean Mannix to tie things up at seven. Second quarter, freshman Cade Greeley, rising up amid a depleted tight end core, hit pay dirt for the second straight week, this time on a 42-yard connection from Brown, 14-7 Hawaii, with under four minutes to go in the first half. But again, Nevada came right back with more, more. Biting off a 43-yard gainer here, that helped set up a Ganji 17-yard sprint to the house, 14 all. I'm so proud of, of, of several of our offensive players. Uh, you know, our offensive line I thought was fabulous tonight. Um, I thought Kelton Moore stepped up and, and had a huge performance. And we've been wanting to run the ball more effectively to help our defense stay off the field. Next possession would serve as a microcosm for the Bo's woes in this one, as Hawaii's O-line committed a series of ill-timed penalties, including a holding call that waved off a would-be 84-yard touchdown run by Diasami St. Just. You know, the penalties, the penalties is, is, is killing us. Um, you know, up front, there's some things we have to change. I'm guilty of, of some penalties, too, contributing. I mean, it, it, it's they don't coach us that. Yeah, it shook us up a little bit. Hawaii would be forced to punt, and the Wolfpack cashed in. Ganji to Wyatt Demps put Nevada up 21-14 at the break, and they never looked back. <laughs> Pack would go on to post 566 yards of total offense, with Moore piling up 216 of that on the ground. We knew they were going to come with everything they had. We knew that you know, they were 0-5, they had nothing to lose. You know, they were going to bring us, give us everything that they had. And uh, the guys, you know, a lot of guys just didn't show up, you know, including myself. To his credit, St. Just was awesome for Hawaii again. His 75-yard touchdown trek kept the Warriors in the mix in the third quarter, part of a career-high 241-yard effort for DSJ, making it 28-21 Nevada heading to the fourth. Hawaii then appeared poised to possibly tie things up when Roe Ferris picked off Ganji deep in UH territory. Alas, just four plays later, Brown would cough it up on a sack and the Rainbows would go on to lose for the fourth straight game, 35-21.